What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to ECC Season 7 Division 4 Playoffs. We finally got there. We are at the at the, the pivotal point of the season. We're at the end of it. And we are going to figure out who is going to be your Division 4 champions tonight. But I am not joined. Uh, I'm not joined. I am not alone. I am joined by the guy who I've just realized his name just means strong fish. Yeah, thank you very much, Maggie, for the intro. <laughs> I'm back for the second time this evening, this time with another co-host. So let's see how this, go how this will go. And let's see who can face Pizza Boys in the grand finals. Will it be Team Alpha Bravo going for a revenge story? Or will it be Oxymoron, the most unlikely of uh, challengers from the fourth spot in league play up to the grand finals? We shall see that. I think it is going to be Alpha Bravo. Bravo. They 3 0'd um, Oxymoron during league play so i think this will be a very juicy series and it could go either way but my bet is definitely on alpha bravo which way are you think it's gonna go sir well you say that but alpha bravo have just lost four games in a row against pizza boys and that and having no break that has to play a huge uh, part in their men in their psyche right now What's going to be important for them is to try and come back as quick as possible from that defeat, realizing, okay, this is a brand new series, nil-nil, nothing's been on, nothing's on the board yet. So if they can do that, then I can see them having a shot. But I think Oxymoron, with the way they finished their last, the first season this evening, I think they just have it in the back. And I think Oxymorons are going to take it probably again in game six. Yeah, I think momentum is definitely on their side. But on paper, if we just put it down to just what's on paper, you know, um, in the scene in Oxymoron having 1,426 MMR and Alpha Bravo 1,396, it is very even. So I'm hoping for a very juicy series, this could go either way. Yeah, for sure. So I'd say let's stop waffling, get onto the pitch and tell the teams to go start their lower bracket final. Both teams are going into the promotion relegation either way, so they at least have a shot at promotion, but obviously every team wants to get that auto promotion spot in number one. So yeah, let's get right into it. Let's get this underway. Team Alpha Bravo, Bra Alpha Bravo, I can't, I can't speak apparently. Team Alpha Bravo taking on Oxymoron in that lower bracket. Which way will it go? We're going to get underway, and this best of seven series is underway as Vals wins that kickoff fairly easy, sends it downfield. Yeast going for a 50 with Pappy, doesn't win it, and Tesla's just there to block it fairly easy, sends it into the middle. Pappy able to adjust in the net to get the save. Hits and bounces it off the backboard again. Vals with a great block there to just eat one of the players. Happy with the pass to the centre, but Vals is there. And it, it looks like they're not playing very controlling so far. Uh, trying to figure out how each team plays. Only 30 seconds in. This first game could still really go either way. No team... None of the teams are really sort of settled in yet, so to speak. Yeah, but uh, what I see from Alpha Bravo is that they come in really aggressive. Already have like two or three demos on the board where they're like, okay, we are obvi they're obviously a bit angry after they have threw that last one against Pizza Boys. So they want to come out strong and come to uh, come out like fast. So that's what they're doing right here. But Oxymoron see doesn't seem too faced by it. They're playing calm again. They're playing very collected. And let's see which place that shall prevail as Till Timmy takes it forward. But it's Coop who cuts it out and maybe can now start a counter attack for the Alpha Bravo side. It can go either way, and either playstyle can take over as Yeast just comes in, steals it, sends it back downfield. Pappy's going to get the block, sends it down, but Coops is there to block it. A great block from Pappy, though, takes him out of the equation for the time being. He is able to readjust. Daxon gets it past one. Hits it off the backboard, but Coops is there to block it. It's hit up. Is it going to be there? No, because Fowles is there to save it yet again. Back and forth gameplay so far. Two completely different styles as Pappy hits it past his own teammate right there. He's out of boost, so it's not like he can do anything with this. But he is going to try. But Timmy's there to get that block fairly easily off the shot. He's just going to catch it, passes it to Coops. Coops sends it downfield, rolls it down the corner, sends it into the center. Is anybody there? Yeast is there, unable to do anything with it. The shot is there, but Timmy, another great clearance. And this, if this keeps up, this is going to be a very juicy series as the counter-attack is on yet again. 
Oh no, he didn't realize that his teammate actually got the bump and he like really opened that in front of him and just tried to take it slow to maybe fake the last defender who just wasn't there. That's a bit of bit of a breakdown of communication there. It should have been 1-0 to Alpha Bravo by every count, but Oxymoron get away with murder and are now trying to set up their position in the opponent's half. Daxon now with a clean shot going top corner, Coops! What a save from the lad! They were able to readjust perfectly in that nice it comes down dangerously in the center yet again. Weren't able to do anything with it though, and nobody goes for it. Wildly, it comes back into the center. Timmy sends it, but the block is on from the net. Bounces against the crossbar. Coops is able to get a touch. Jackson sends it to the right. Bounces it off Pappy. Pappy hits it up. Bounces is going to go up. He challenges it, and he wins the challenge fairly easily. Timmy sends it back downfield. The block comes in and Yeast is there to catch it once again as it's sent downfield. But the patience of Daxon is just able to block it fairly easily. And Coops is on the counter-attack. The net, the net was so wide open and it's there. The goal actually happened. How did they not save that at the end of that? I, I was like, okay, where's the defender? Where's the defender? Why is, the, why is she returning back in time? And then Pappy just gets the slightest off touch, doesn't get it to the side. And the third defender, I think it was Timmy, just trying to push it out with the 50. Can't get their valves with a Dominus bigger hitbox. Just pushes it through for the 1 0 for Shadow, uh, not Shadow Elite, that was the last opponent. Team Alpha Bravo, of course. So, Oxymora now with a bit of a task. They need to try and gain some offensive momentum and actually put another good shot on target. We have seen one before, so it's definitely not out of the realm of possibilities. But let's see if they are capable to make some pressure as Yeast and Valves combined for a great team save. Plus again, off the post. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I <laughs> threw me completely. But the save is uh, there. Apologies for the language that clearly isn't English there. But <laughs> we're going to go with it. As it comes back in, bounces past one. Daxon sends it downfield. Yeast with a block yet again. It is fast and furious action and either team can take it at this point. Pappy sends it back downfield, bounces it off the wall. Someone is there to get the shot. He's, he's able to block it. It hits the post. Timmy's going to send it into the middle yet again and fouls with a great clear. And that was a great chance. Just completely missed right there. Team Alpha Bravo have taken uh, advice from well, their opponents in the last game from Pizza Boys, where they're just hugely effective and saving every bloody shot that comes their way. It's the third time they've actually scraped one off the line with the help of the post or the crossbar. Now in the counter attack, they just put it in for 2 0. That's a very anticlimactic ending to game one. 37 seconds left on the clock. Can they come back? What a game this has been. This has been a game of, of near misses. Chances on both sides. Sent into the middle yet again. The demo comes in from East on Pappy to take him out. Sent back downfield. Pappy spawns at the perfect place. Daxon's going to try and go for a redirect. Bounces it off the backboard. Bounces it into the middle, but the save comes in from East. He is perfectly adjustable at that time and manages to get the save as it's sent back downfield downfield by Vals with 10 seconds left to go he's got to get it past one he gets the flick into the center Timmy with the clear four seconds on the clock two nil to Alpha Bravo and Alpha Bravo are gonna take this first game yeah a bit against the run of play to be honest but effectiveness at the end is, is key and Alpha Bravo showed it although they had nine shots I don't remember like most of them but especially <laughs> nine shots, that's still a lot. But again, same with nine shots for Oxymoron. But the six saves, or seven saves, my maths is good, are definitely what made the difference there. Oxymoron should have probably scored at least two goals in this series. What they, what they need to figure out now is how do we actually put one in? Because they have the chances, clearly. They just now need to maybe find that little bit of extra power, a little bit of slight better accuracy just put it in and then oxymoron can also stick a few past the alpha bravo defense so i'm really really looking forward to that one alpha bravo taking game number one at two nil and they'll be one nil up in this best of seven series it can go either way and that with you know two completely different play styles and from that game really that both teams played extremely well it is just going to be a case of now oxymoron Maybe switching it up a little bit and taking a defender out so they don't have the chance to get them saves. Yeah, pretty much. That's I think that's the main adjustment they're going to look, be looking for. It's a bit like how they played Game 6 in their last series. Just 
Bang, constant on the pressure, taking out the defenders, playing around them, looking for your teammates to just put the pass down and put the shot into the goal at, at the end of the day. They have been trying it, but the accuracy has been a bit lacking as Valtz actually takes out the goalie for Oxymoron, and I think that's an own goal from Daxon. <laughs> Let's just watch this again. So Yeast gets the tap on here. He bounces it against the wall, sends it in to the middle, and Daxon, unfortunate, the shot was there either way. That was going in that net. But he will be the tracer in that situation as he does end up with the own goal to go right back into the kickoff. Timmy hits it wide. It's going to be a follow-up from Daxon. I'm unable to do anything with it because Coops is there to get it. He's going to chase that back downfield. He does get the second touch on it. Coops with a great block, sends it into the middle. There's nobody there. Is it going to go? No, Daxon with a great touch to block it. And Yeast just comes in and whiffs it. Unfortunate for him, the counter-attack is on, but Coop is just there to block it. And this team just they just weren't quick enough to get to that. Yeah, and Daxon is like, okay, I'm not the imposter, I swear. I'm just going to save that one to make sure I'm, <laughs> I'm actually with my team. This isn't a 2v4, this is a 3v3. On goals can happen. So... Whatever, anything that Team Alpha Bravo can do, Oxymoron is pretty capable of themselves. They just scrape one off the line there and it's still 1-0 only for Alpha Bravo. But Oxymoron really need to get the attack going. They're seeing no light at the end of the tunnel right now. If you're Oxymoron at this point, you have got to play your trap card and get back into this game. And they are coming back now with a little bit of life. Sent back into the middle, the shot is there! Daxon equalizes it! They played that trap card perfectly! Yeah, he's really eager to make up for his mistake. Pappy with the good uh, cross middle cops just being a bit too far off the field, not rotating back properly. And Pap and Daxon just puts it in for an, at the end of the day, easy shot, but you still got to put them away. So it's all, all squared now, one all. Let's see who gets the better momentum now. One all indeed, an oxymoron. They are in, I don't want to say in the driver's seat because they aren't necessarily in the series, but they have equalized, they have the momentum on their side, but Papi sends it again, but Coops with a great block. Timmy's gonna send it up. Coops with a block again, sends it to the center, just getting that little touch, even though he didn't have the boost. Daxon gets it past one, the hit is there from Yeast. He collects the boost, Papi's gonna go up and follow with it, but Coops able to get rid of it. It doesn't actually look like that Coops touch it. The shot comes in again, unable to do anything. The clearance is there, sent back into the middle and files with a clear. Three minutes to go, which way will this go? I mean, Oxymoron are looking like the strongest side at the moment. They seem to be carrying that momentum a bit better than uh, Team Alpha Bravo have after their goal. So I'm curious to see if they can keep their rotations clean and keep finding each other's off passes. Because Alpha Bravo is giving them a lot of time at the moment as Yeast just completely destroys one player, tries to fake the second one, but Daxon just comes out of it and tries to transition, but Valt is already there. Yeah, so Alpha Bravo need to be upfield as they are right now, and they need to build the pressure that they had in game one again. Absolutely, they need to build that momentum back up. They need to do something pretty special to do something a little bit different to get back into it, you know, get back into that series after that game one losses. Pappy just not able to do anything with it because Coops hits it against the against the wall. Timmy's there again. The whiff comes in, it is still there, but Coops getting a touch on it. Pappy's going to send it back into the center. Yeast is there. Yeast gets the save, gets the block. And Daxon's going to hit it. It bounces off the ceiling. It comes straight back down, though. Timmy sends it into the middle yet again and Coops with the clearance. One minute, 50 seconds on the clock. And Pappy's going to catch it fairly easily right there. And honestly, this team, they really should start studying some of your games and see how to slot that home. I don't think I would be the right address to study that. <laughs> <laughs> Truthfully, I don't think that, but they they need a bit of that accuracy. The the ideas are there, the ideas are right. They're trying to look for the infi bars, trying to look for your teammate, but the execution is just a bit lacking, which it is Division 4. Puppy just completely dunks it into the net. Good pass from Daxon using the backboard and off the touch from Yeast. Puppy is just like, nah, nah, you're not getting any pass, mate. Sorry, that's just going in the net. The traffic lights were set and they just stopped that in their tracks and sent it home. And Oxymoron are in the driver's seat in game number two. One minute 16 on the clock. They really need to stick with it. They need to keep up the strategy that they've got going as it bounces straight up into the box again. But Daxon gets the clear. And this game could still go either way at this junction. One minute on the clock. 
and the shot comes in and he's unable to get the second touch on it. Boss is there and he sends it home and it is all square in this game. Uh, Daxon there just again turning too, too early and not using Power Slide to get a sharper turn on it thus gets like stuck inside of the net at the worst position you could be to actually try to get a save. Uh, Valz recognizes that, aims for the uh, like, long corner and just puts it in. Two walls. This, I think, main the main concern uh, for Oxymoron is that their accuracy just isn't quite there yet. I don't know, they just need to be able to somehow get the touches that they had for the last series, where just find the teammate and not give the ball to the opponent. Although they do come away with murder in that case. Yeah, getting away with murder indeed. It's coming back down now. Send back in to the sensor, but fairly easy. Clay comes in. The touch comes in from Coops with an easy save from Pappy, able to just catch it fairly easily. Vars is going to send it back downfield. Bounce it against the backboard. Vars with the shot. It hits the crossbar. It's still there. And how has nobody sent that home? Surely that should have been the goal for Alpha Bravo that seals this game. Yeah, Coops just a little bit too slow to the ball. And here, Vals and Coops double commit. Vals luckily gets that 100 boost to clear it. But yeah, he was just a tiny bit too far back and thus couldn't get a touch on it as Jackson takes it into overtime for game game number two. Two all overtime. Let's see where this goes. Overtime is the thing that we need. We want a game seven overtime in this series. It can still go either way. Hopefully Oxymoron can come back and take this one as it's cleared yet again. Coops is going to send it back downfield. It is sent into the box. Pappy with the save. Just gets a great roll on that and sends it to the left. Comes up again. Timmy is just going to send that once again. Yeast catches it fairly well. Doesn't come off the wall to touch it though. As it's sent and Coops with the follow up. And that is a good thing about this team is the minute somebody touches it, somebody is there to follow it up fairly quickly as Vals with the, with the shot. Timmy with the save and Vals with the demo on Daxon. Sent back into the middle now. There's, oh, it was in the box, but the clear comes in. Daxon's going to send it back. It bounces off the corner again, but Coops with the block on Pappy. And they need to break down this wall. And this is looking very dangerous. Daxon having to readjust fairly well there to it coming back. Yeast gets a touch on it and sends it back into the center. The clearance comes in yet again. The redirect comes in one minute into overtime. This could still go either way. Yeah, but the game is pretty much it's in overtime still following the proceedings it has in a regular play where Oxymoron seem to have a bit more of the pressure as he takes out the last defender that's dangerous Coops is up but he misses the goal but yeah the teams are just playing a bit like they used to in normal play like there's not really too much over committing both are playing fairly calm and collected and Oxymoron has a bit more of the pressure a bit more of the possession as Papi takes it on to Daxon. He tries to go for Yeast, but just barely misses him. We said it before about the accuracy. The accuracy hasn't been there for Oxymoron. It's proven again, yet again. The save comes in from Papi off the shot, but it is slutted home by Yeast. And Alpha Bravo 2 0 up in this series. And if they want a clean sweep, they only have to get two more to take this series. And a great bump from Valtz. Rotating out, getting a third player that was realistically gonna save Yeast's shots. And he just takes him out, and then Yeast just had an open net right in front of him. Great play, great awareness from Vals as well. So 2-0 now, again, 10 shots from Alpha Bravo and 8 shots from Oxymoron. The offenses are just really, really not that accurate this time around. This is a lot of shots peppering the goal, but the defenses seem to be standing up for it due to the lack of accuracy. Yeah, you need... What what can you do really when you don't have the accuracy? You've just got to keep going for the demos. You've got to try and switch it up. But unfortunately, if, even if you don't have that accuracy, you're not going to be able to do anything with it. You know, Yeast played extremely well that game. And to be honest, both teams played really, really well. It is just the oxymoron. That accuracy is their kryptonite. Yeah, I, to be honest, it's something that comes over time in the series, like, they had the hour break, so maybe that was more detrimental than it was useful, because they were probably on a high after winning that first series. So, I'm not exactly sure what will, what will fix that. Obviously, they're getting a bit more accurate as of, as of right now. I mean, at least they scored two goals this time, but they still need something a bit more. Maybe go for a bit more aggressive plays. 
let uh, Turtle Timmy be the one that's constantly in the uh, opponent's face, l like he was against Shadow Elite, and maybe then we can like get then they can you know block the p clears from Team Alpha, be a nuisance in their half, build up pressure, and then eventually you're gonna score. Yeah, if you if if you keep switching up the play. It, you know, eventually you're going to get it in. I've said it time and time again. The more you punch that wall, eventually it will fall down. We're just waiting on Yeast at the moment because he just needs to restart his console. So he'll be back with us in just a second. But going off our predictions earlier on, you know, Sherry predicted Team Alpha Bravo. I predicted Team Alpha Bravo. You, you predicted Oxymoron. Are you still sticking with that? I am. I fully am because I see when Team Alpha Bravo has the efficiency... They just make the shots go in. I think Oxymoron, I see very good starts of attack. Like the ideas are the correct ones. They're just a bit lacking in the execution. And that's why I'm still sticking with Oxymoron. Also, I've predicted them before, so I can't just switch my back now. Nah, I'm just going to see it through. I hope the boys deliver, but if they're not, you can be wrong, I guess. Well, I, okay, I have said this time and time again, we make, the casters make the rules, guys. We just do what we want at this point. So, <laughs> I'm just going to say, Alpha Bravo, I, I am pretty sure they're going to take a clean sweep. But I think if Oxymoron, oh. that, right, the bold predictions swear for us, absolutely not, Sherry. Uh, casters do do what they want. But I am not like some other people, you know, some strong fishes that you see in the ocean, who will just spit it out whenever they want. That's not me, y'all. <laughs> you just got I'm no not, comeback. No, no, I've, I had a comeback, but it was really inappropriate, so I'm not going to say that. But <laughs> <laughs> You best keep your comebacks to yourself, because I is ready to come for you. I is ready to come for you. Man, Alpha, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha Bravo, 2-0 up in this series. <laughs> And Ox Oxymoron, they're going to look to readjust at this point. We've got yeast into the server. So let's tell these teams that we are ready to go. And let's get in to game number three. Yeah, good thing yeast is begging we can focus on Rocket League again. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> and now, yeah, as I said, I'm sticking with Oxymoron. I think they they can they could use the time now to like sort of calm them down a bit, figure it out what they actually need to do. And I think they're going to be coming out swinging here. It can go, go either way at this point. I'm sorry, I'm still throwing myself. As the shot comes in, the save is there, the save is there again, and Timmy with the clear. Vaz is going to send it back downfield yet again. Coops is going to catch it. He is not letting that go. Sent into the middle. Happy gets, uh, it looked like he just got yeeted a little bit there. Sent back downfield. Timmy is going to catch it because nobody has boost. The follow-up isn't there. And the communication was a little bit shabby. As he sent back downfield, Daxon goes for it, gets that blocked by Coop. Sent back downfield, the shot is off, but Yeast is there to get a fairly easy save. And I, he just got annihilated off that wall. 50 seconds left to go, and it seems aggression is the way that we're going to play in this game. Yeah, that's what uh, Timmy has been great at lately, and that's what he needs Whoa. to do a bit more, but Yeast just snipes top ins. And that, with a bit of help from the post, just gets in. Timmy had the right idea there, but he just read it completely and just stacks and no chance in that there. Absolutely. So we all know phase 100 is going on. And after that shot, you're going to need to be calling our man Yeast. So the kickoff comes in. Yeast is there again. Yeast winning that battle. Sends it back downfield. He's going to bounce it off the ceiling. It is still in the center. The shot comes in. The block is there. And... This is all to play for. Sent back into the middle yet again. Timmy is going to clear it to the, to the right. Sent back downfield. Yeast is there again. And Yeast is becoming the nuisance of that team right there. Sent back downfield again. Three minutes 30 on the clock. What do you have to do if you are Oxymoron at this point? Well, first of all, break out of your own half will be a good start. Because especially Yeast is just blocking every damn attempt they have at just breaking out of your of your own half and now Yeast can get a block again but this time on a shot the transition is there but now Oxymoron have to be careful to not overcommit. it was very close right there they can't it's still three minutes to go they have lots of time they just can't overcommit, but they don't have a goalkeeper right now when Timmy comes on with an <gasps> amazing save Papu with the miss 
Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Let's just rewatch this again. Pappy, it all going wrong for Pappy, and it is just slotted home by Val to restart perfectly. Now for Bravo, they are on their way. It's been three 0 up in this series, on their way to two that final in this best of seven series, and it is. Oh, it's just a joy to watch at this point. It's sent back downfield, bounced off yet again. Sent downfield again. Yeast is there to catch it, and you know, Yeast is just king, bro. Yeah, he's really helping his team out, both as positioning and as defensive prowess, as he's trying to pass it off to Wilds, but it just ends up as a self pass. Yeah, he's just trying to, you know, get his team together, make the right calls, make the right moves at the right time as well. So he's really instrumental in that. And then again, he has a standout performance in this game. So Yeast is doing a lot for his team. Can he actually get that angle? No. Oof, a close one and FaZe would have definitely been calling him if that had gone in. But he's in himself has been, he's been exceptional. He's been that mechanical player that we have seen as it's sent back downfield, bounces off the corner. Daxon gets a touch. Timmy is just unable to control it. Daxon gets a demo on Coops, sends he's flying a little bit, but comes back into the center again. And Daxon, you know, this team just seemed trapped again. And as I say that, the boom comes in and gets rid of it. But Coops is just there to block it again and send it right back into that area. Bounces off the crossbar. Daxon's going to touch it. Yeast is going to go up. And Yeast is there yet again. Yeast is out of boost, which is unfortunate for him because if he'd have had boost, Lord knows what he'd have been able to do. And there we have the thing is when Oxymoron has a breakaway or when they actually have a bit of time, they just bump it away because they don't think that they A, think that someone is coming. And B, they think that someone, that no one has boost, so you need to bump it, pump it away. When in fact you should take control, which gets more time to get your teammates and boost for the next attack. As Team Alpha Bravo have been, you know, they're mostly counting on the pass or the boom being blocked, rather than completely going for the... Going for the aggressive dunks as Coops just puts it in, but he bumps Puppy into Timmy. Oh, <laughs> he just, bye, that was not happening, he just slotted that home, 3 nil. and after that behaviour, they belong in a zoo, 50 seconds on the clock, 3 nil. and the shot comes in again, ooh, I really thought that was going in there, Houston was there to catch it, but able to do anything with it, but that bump, absolutely exceptional right there, sent back into the middle yet again, Coops is gonna send it. I think a collision came in in the middle then, just sent that to the side. Daxon comes off the wall to follow it up. Coops is there quicker than ever though to get it. And Coops, it gets the block on Timmy. They can't even get out of their area at this point. Daxon's gonna go up with it. Daxon gets it past one. Vals is gonna send it back downfield. The redirect comes in from Issa. It is in the center. Vals got it. It is there, but the save comes in from Pappy. 12 seconds on the clock. The shot is there again. Slotted home, four nil. Just give Alpha Bravo the trophy at this point. I think Oxymoron are gonna call the lawyer and, you know, just sue uh, sue Alpha Bravo for harassment at this point. Again with the bumps, Coops this time, bumping the third man who had the easy save. Just gets bumped and then there's like, oh, there's no third man. Well, we're fucked. As they should <laughs> take on the fourth and this is could be a clean sweep. But I hope Alpha Bravo are gonna take it in game four. Reverse sweeps have happened, even in game of game of uh, best of sevens. So I'm still sticking with it. I still think Oxymoron has a lot to show us. Well, if you think that, you are an absolute idiot. And we are gonna need some Judge Rinder, some Jeremy Kyle, some Judge Judy at this point. Anybody to come and help out Oxymoron because Oxymoron is falling apart. They are 3 nil down in this series. Could they, uh, could they complete that reverse sweep? I do not think so. I mean, stranger things have happened. Although Alpha Bravo seem to have Oxymoron's number at this point, I never, never write someone completely off who isn't completely dead. You know, those who, those who have been thought dead live longer. I'm sorry, but did you watch that last game? I know, but... <laughs> Did it, you not it, see what happened? 
they were very reliant on yeast just being a nuisance and getting those weird sort of reads though and getting the weird uh, dunks that just puts Alpha Bravo in a very comfortable position and puts Oxymora in a very uncomfortable condition uh, position. So I think that if they can get it around the first line of defense, which is usually very aggressive from Oxymora, uh, from Alpha Bravo, then Oxymora have a really strong chance of you know breaking out and actually creating some offensive pressure. If they can do that, then I think this is still very much open. I think that you can stay over there with your wishful thinking because the delusion is there. Oxymoron versus Team Alpha Bravo getting in to game number four. Can Oxymoron come back from what has been and it didn't start off as an abysmal series for them, but an abysmal game that was. But maybe they maybe they just took game game three off like lads. We need to reset, we take the next game off to uh, fully reset ourselves and now we're just on it. As there's an unfortunate bump in the middle, Yeast doesn't have the boost, Koops is there, it's over, can he get the double? No he can't, Timmy just with the save. And now they can transition, they have time. Let's see if they use it well. Sort of not. The double commit, again, things like that. The double commit was there coming back into the centre, Vals gets the save off Daxon's shot. Yeast is going to follow it up, he does, he, he gets the flip, he gets the block. Daxon's there to tap it yet again, but Yeast is still there. He's got zero boost, unable to do anything with it. He rotates as Coops goes for it now. Coops is gonna, he's gonna go for dribble it, and it looks like this, this oxymoron team, they just look scared at this point. Yeah, it's just a bit, bit, uh, bit scuffed. I think the comms are not there. Puppy just turned away for no reason. Uh, the comms are just not there to support each other. I think they're very much in their own heads right now after a game mentality is everything and if you lose that then it's already lost but i think that if they can get a goal here somehow if it's just a lucky goal then get a goal they can get the mentality back and then we can have some fun as fun juicy series as we had in game one and two yeah um i think that they are just as scared as you on halloween at this point as it's come back into the center what? the shot isn't there because daxon blocks it don't give me what <laughs> Timmy with a block yet again gets rid of it. Three minutes, 22 seconds on the clock. And the good thing is, if, if you know, if we just want to look at the positives, Oxymoron haven't conceded yet. And actually, they've been uh, doing very well to get the ball out of their defensive half. They haven't been creating many chances, but neither has Team Alpha Bravo, which at this point, it's the small steps, baby steps. They just, if they can keep Alpha Bravo away from their goal, maybe get into overtime and then overtime, anything could happen. I think the the plan here is to be should they should be a bit more daring, a bit more aggressive as a whole. But if they want to play it patient and want to play it safe, then that's also very fine because they're doing a decent job at it right now. That's very that's very fine. Excuse me, get out. That's fine. Absolutely not. They need a goal. You need goals in Rocket League. You cannot win by getting no goals. And is Yeast going to get there in time? Yes, he is. Yeast was the save. Sending it back downfield now as Pappy is there to get the block. Pappy unable to block it much. He does go and follow it up and gets the Yeast on it. He's going to send it back downfield and Coops sends it downfield yet again. Vals with the shot. And I told you, I said it. You need more than just it. Defense and Alpha Bravo, they are taking this series really at this point. Yeah, a third man, t uh, Timmy, was just caught in an aw awkward position at the uh, at the ground. He could see Valts up, but he was sort of split in two minds. Am I going to challenge or am I going to go rotate back post and cover the shot? In the end, he did neither, which is probably the worst outcome for him, as Daxon puts it past his own defender. But yeah, they're just a bit unfortunate in the end, to be honest. Double commit that coming up from Papi and uh, Timmy as well. They need, just need to sort their comms out right now. They need to be helpful, be supportive, and most of all, be positive. Don't be toxic to each other, or don't be toxic to yourself, most importantly. Mm -hmm. You'll be talking about being toxic, and I'll come at you in a minute. <laughs> Timmy sends it. Timmy with the show. <laughs> They've got a goal! Lord almighty! Their prayers have been answered. It is even, and maybe... Just maybe they have a little bit of life. Yes! We see the <laughs> We see the hesitation now coming up from Alpha Bravo. Cops just stood in goal. Like didn't really know what to do. His team had probably called him off because he was going for the demo, but he missed and that allowed for a very good shot from Turtle Timmy. That's all you need. Good placement and a bit of time. 
let's see if Alpha Bravo gives off Skimora a bit more of that, or if uh, it just goes back to the way Game 3 went. Absolutely. <laughs> this could go either way at this point. This game is alive. Sent back into the center. The block comes in from Coops. He is sending it downfield yet again. Happy is going to send it downfield. He's going to he's going to bounce off the corner. Uh, unable to trade the bit. East goes for the demo. He does miss on that. Coops is going to follow this up. It's it's sort of just just a weird little game of ping pong at the moment. One minute on the clock. Oxymoron. If they want to stay in this in these playoffs at this point, you know, we're in the lower bracket. There's no second chances anymore. This is that second chance. They want to stay in that lower bracket. They need to get that shot off. They need to get another goal. Yeah, and this again, the second man, Puppy in this case, just a bit too hesitant. It's Timmy with a dangerous challenge. He was the last man. And Puppy's actually being demoed on the far post. That's very dangerous for Daxing with a great clear. And Timmy gets it over Yeast. Now, Daxing, can you try to bake the shot on target? It's a bit wide. But they ha still have the pressure and Puppy has a lot of boost to work with. This is what they need. Now they need to rest in their half and actually get some prolonged pressure. Prolonged pressure is needed. Coops with the shot. Is he going to set it up? Puppy doesn't get it. 10 seconds on the clock. That is all she wrote. And I am saying this now. You are wrong, bro. You're wrong. Writing you off at this point as well. Ah, uh, Puppy just... See, not seeing the, the man until it was too late coming up mid, so Cup's going to take a shot, Papi already turning, so no momentum to speak of to get the save. Very unfortunate there, caught his last man, and now the kickoff's not going great. Cops with the pre-flit into Timmy, he gets the save, but this game is not over yet. If they can keep it up, but they can't, and they concede. <gasps> no, they don't concede, he was wrong, brother. As it hits the ground, Alpha Bravo, they send it home. What a game that was. Oxymoron, you know, they, they they can't be too disheartened. They got this far, I guess. They got to the playoffs. Um, and, you know, a few things for them to work on at this point. But Team Alpha Bravo, they are going to take the victory. And what a, what a series. That, that was a ton of fun just because you were wrong. Thank you very much, mate. But that was very commanding, I'd say, from Alpha Bravo. They bounced back very nicely indeed after their loss to the Pizza Boys. And now they can actually challenge them again. Oxymoron, congrats, you've won your game. You won one game. That's what you needed to do to get to the promotion relegation tournament. Or like the promotion relegation game, I suppose. That's what you needed, and you've done that. So now they still fight for promotion to Division 3. And Alpha Bravo is gunning for that auto promotion shot, uh, auto promotion spot. And as we've seen, they can take games of Pizza Boys. So the grand finals, the two most uh, defining teams of that league play, with obviously Alpha Bravo going eight one and Pizza Boys going nine zero, facing each other off somewhat predictably in the grand finals, and it's going to be hella exciting. Yeah, this. Oh. A grand final to get, do you know what? I need a minute. I'm sweating. That was <laughs> insane. And I think that, you know, it, it, it was a great series and it could have gone either way. Oxymoron, they need to work on their accuracy before heading to that all important um, relegation tournament thing, whatever we're calling it at this point. But do you know what? Even, even though I do enjoy ripping into you, you know, Mr. Well, what is your name again? Strong Fish. Yeah, Mr. Strongfish, <laughs> I'll just throw you back into that ocean. It has been a pleasure casting with you, sir. It has been the pleasure. has uh, been all on my side, mate. Likewise, likewise. But we are going to go into a, not sure, but into a break right now. The finale will be here at around 8 p.m. So you've got 15, 20 minutes to ca calm down. There's going to be a caster change. I'm going to leave my beautiful co-host, Mikey, with a... Uh, very new cast of Victor VTM. So that's still going to be a very, very good, very, very good cast. And I recommend you stay on here. I'll be in chat as well. So yeah, have fun and see you later.